Our next segment is actually sponsored by the good friends at Gateway Bank, a local bank focused on growing your personal and or business needs. It's called Community Spotlight and allows us to highlight some of the nonprofits that the great city of Mesa has. And with that in mind, we'd like to welcome to the stage from Lutheran Social Services of the Southwest, the president and CEO, Connie Phillips. Connie, come on up. <laughs> welcome. Welcome to Mesa Morning Live. Thank you, thank you so much. It's your first time, and as you just heard from Dave, you'll be back. I see that. I'm a little concerned, though, because I, that's a hard act to follow. That's a lot of humor, yeah. you know? Well, I'm not sure I can oh, match that. Please don't tell him that. He'll be back. <laughs> don't encourage that behavior. <laughs> Um, well, thank you for, for, for showing up today. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing and um, let us know how we can help. Well, Lutheran Social Services of the Southwest is uh, probably the largest nonprofit that many of you have never heard of. Uh, we have been in the valley since 19, or in the state since 1970. We're a statewide organization. Uh, we um, stabilize people during times of transition and crisis. We build a self-reliant foundation and we preserve dignity and respect through four different kinds of programming. Working with seniors, working with people who are homeless and hungry, working with uh, children and families, and then finally uh, resettling refugees. Wow, so you get your hands full. We do, we do. It's, uh, we served last year uh, six, almost 60,000 people throughout the state. And an interesting thing about Mesa is Mesa is the one community in the state where we have all of our programming. We work with everything that we do, we do here in Mesa. Where the other parts of the state, we just have one piece of our programming. But here in Mesa, we actually do all of our programming. Um, people have a lot of myths about Lutheran social services. For instance, they think maybe perhaps we just serve Lutherans. Um, and that, of course, is not the case. Uh, we, like um, Habitat for Humanity, are a faith-based organization, or UMOM is a faith-based organization. That is who we are. Uh, we were founded by the Lutherans. Uh, I, I am not myself Lutheran, and so I've learned lots about Lutheranism. But, you know, one of the things I've learned is that, you know, years ago, um, in their history, Lutherans have basically... Hey, I'm oh. sorry, that was the sound of $20. It was. <laughs> that was... That was exciting. <laughs> Whoever... Oh, that's perfect. All right, I'm sorry, but... No, that's okay. We get, we get very excited very easily here. I, you know... Listen, I get excited if someone is getting resources into a nonprofit, so believe me. <laughs> That's great. Now, the Lutheran organization was founded by Lutheran congregations, but it was founded to serve uh, the community. And uh, we are, you know, we serve people of faith and no faith. Um, it's really about the service. Uh, we, uh, we do work with congregations, and they provide some of our volunteers. In fact, here in Mesa, one of our programs uh, works <coughs> to provide safe shelter for women to sleep in a congregation uh, every night. So we pick them up from Paz de Cristo and uh, take them to a, uh, a congregation where they receive a meal, and they can sleep through the night. They get a uh, sack lunch to take with them the next morning and take them back um, to Paz de Cristo in the morning. So what do you think, that, what are the biggest needs in the community right now? Well, certainly in Mesa, uh, one, of the thing, one of the concerns that people have uh, been talking about is homelessness. And uh, we're happy to be, have been invited to the table with the other providers, other nonprofit providers, to be uh, really looking at solutions to homelessness here in the Mesa community. And that's, that's one of the things we're working on. We also work with United um, Food Bank. Uh, they are, uh, help us with two of our food pantries that we have here in Mesa as well. Well, not only for the people that are, that are here with us this morning, but also those watching on TV, if, if you've touched their heart with what, you, what your mission is, what can they do to help? We really are, uh, like United Food Bank, looking for volunteers and for financial support. Uh, we are being very challenged right now. Uh, as I said, we work with refugees and do refugee resettlement, which uh, Mesa has been a very welcoming community for refugees. Um, unfortunately, with the executive order, that program's been put on pause, which means that our revenue has also been put on pause. Um, and it is a significant loss of revenue for us while we're being asked to continue to, to provide services for those who are here. So we're having a significant challenge right now. So we're asking people to do three things around the refugee issue. First of all, become educated. 
it's easy to look up information, and we're happy to provide that for you. Um, and secondly, um, to advocate, to, if you are so inclined, um, to let your congressional district um, representatives know what your feelings are about this program and how welcoming Mesa has been, what refugees have brought to this community. And finally, um, donate. So ed it's educate, advocate, donate, because we can really use your support right now. Like I say, we're facing a, a tremendous financial struggle over the next few months. That's great. Well, any uh, any other call to action for our uh, for our fans here today? Yes, we provide something we call the Come and See Tour. It is a tour of our mission, and uh, it's one hour. We do not ask you for anything other than let us call you and get your feedback afterwards. If you're interested in learning more about Lutheran Social Services of the Southwest and how we are touching lives in this community, I would encourage you to contact us. Go on our website. Let us know you'd like to come to a Come and, to and See Tour. We can come and bring it to you in your business or in your community, wherever you would like to be, or we can host you at one of our food pantries um, or one of the congregations that does the uh, program for women who are homeless. We are happy to, uh, to share what we do with you. Um, my, I am on a mission. I've been in this position for two years, and, uh, and I you know, keep telling people I say I work for Lutheran, and they go, what's that? So five years from now, I want everybody to know that Lutheran Social Services is um, impacting lives in the state of Arizona. So well, help, thank, us, help us spread the word. Thanks for doing your part today. We appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to be here. And are you going to stick around afterwards if people have any questions? Unfortunately, I have to be in Tucson, so I've got to run. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've got the Uber app. <laughs> We could get you there quickly. I could help a lot. I could get the work done. <laughs> well, we appreciate you stopping by. And, uh, and please, if you do have any, any co uh, comments or questions or, or want to help Connie out, uh, you know how to get a hold of her. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Safe travels to Tucson. Thank you. Thanks, Connie. Connie Phillips, thank you. Thank you.